guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Chef Pam and today we're getting ready to make Southern style brown butter whipped cream corn. It's an amazing dish, perfect side dish for any holiday or any time of the year. And it's simple, easy, made from scratch, so quick. And if you want to learn how to make all kinds of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, Take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you'll always get my recipes every time I upload one. And then just keep hanging around the channel because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay, guys, we are back. So let's go over our ingredients for our brown butter whipped cream corn. First of all, we need to start off with the start of the dish, our corn. Now I am using frozen corn. Feel free to use fresh, but I wouldn't necessarily use canned, but if that's what you have, feel free to use it. Just make sure you rinse it really, really well. We've also have garlic powder, salt. I'm using Himalayan salt, white pepper. You can use black pepper. I just like white because it doesn't leave the black specks in it. Some grated Parmesan. We've have some butter, a little sugar, flour, milk, heavy cream. Now I'm making this in my little bitty small itty bitty cast iron skillet because I'm only making it for two. I will have all the ingredients and measurements down in the description for a regular size casserole dish for you guys. Okay, I think we've gone over our ingredients. Let's get this brown butter whipped cream corn made. Okay guys, I have my skillet on medium high heat. I've melted the butter. We're going to go ahead and pour this butter in here. And we're going to let it brown. And while you let it brown, you don't want to make sure it does not burn. So we need to swirl it around in our skillet occasionally. And it will start to turn brown and that's just what we want. As you can see, our butter is starting to turn brown, that nice rich color. Brown butter takes your dish to a whole nother flavor. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Mm, mm, mm. And the smell of it, it just has its own smell to it. So now we don't want it to get too brown or we don't want it to get burnt. So we're going to go in with our flour. We're going to add this in and stir it until it's smooth. Guys, down in the comments, let me know if you like cream corn or if you like whole corn. Which is your preference? Or anybody in your family have a taste for that good old-fashioned cream corn? Mm, mm, mm. It is amazing. Okay, so you want to make sure your flour and butter is nice and smooth. Then we're going to go in and add in our heavy cream and our milk. Add it in slowly. Now we're going to go in with our garlic powder, our salt, our black pepper, or white pepper in this case, and our sugar. Make sure everything is well combined. Once you have this all well combined, you want to go in with your corn. Combine your corn in really, really well. And you wanna let this cook for about two minutes. Cook on medium high for about two minutes. And we'll be back. Okay, we have been cooking for about two minutes here. So now we're going to take this over and get it in our oven proof dish. Okay, doesn't this look amazing? It's creamy, mm, mm, mm. and if you guys could smell it, oh my goodness. So we're just gonna fill up our dish over here. Mm, mm, mm. Doesn't that look good already? We're not even finished. Oh my goodness. Look at 
Make sure you spread it out pretty evenly. Mm, 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 mm. Now we're going to put this under the broiler. You want it to be about four or five inches from your broiler for about two to three minutes until it becomes lightly brown and bubbly. Okay, that should do it. So we're gonna get this in the oven and we'll be right back. Doesn't that look amazing already? Okay, we are all done. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my goodness. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Oh my goodness, this looks great. If you guys enjoyed this video and got anything out of it, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you can't do anything else, please share the video out. I really would appreciate it. Oh my goodness, to everyone that is new, Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with me in my kitchen again today. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. The good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. <laughs>